Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Andy Rizika. Again, my guest is Development Coordinator, Coordinator Hannah Ray Warwick here talking about the 2020 Fight for Air Climb event at the Metropolitan Building, and that's coming up on April 4th. So uh, the firefighters, we talked a bit about them just before the break. Um, is it all one department or is it several different departments that take part? Yeah, it's um, all different fire stations throughout St. Louis um, and, and Illinois too. Some, some cities in Illinois do it as well. Yeah. Do you think it's, it might be almost in a way easier for them because they got the, the oxygen mask, right? I and don't they... think so. <laughs> I don't think so. They have an extra 50, 60 pounds on them with all their gear. Yeah, yeah. I guess that would be pretty tough. But maybe we can you know, strap you or I in it and see how we can do. <laughs> yeah, up there. maybe. Have you ever done the, the event? Have you ever gone up the stairs? Um, not on event day. I'll be doing it on this Thursday. We have our first practice con coming up. So. Yeah. Okay, so Our people second practice climb, I'm sorry. Yeah. So people can get a practice in at the building before the event? Yes, they can. So we have three practice climbs total. Um, we already had our first one and our second one is coming up uh, this Thursday at six o'clock at the Metropolitan Square building. So then the, so that brings me to the question of do you, do you do a lot of training do you, or do you would recommend a lot of training before doing this event? Yeah, it would definitely help. It would definitely help. Um, we have a lot of people do the Creve Core steps and Creve Core Park. Um, we have people who go to the Metropolitan Square building and climb their stairs. Um, yeah, just on the Stairmasters at your gym it would definitely help. Do they allow that at the building? If you just show up and said, hey, I want to practice running up your stairs, can I run? No, you have to be a member of the gym in the building. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was going to show up and see if I could do it without any pressure. Um, so the, this event, there, there is a donation aspect of it, of course. Mm -hmm. Where do the donations go? So they go to, to the American Lung Association, and that helps us um, fight so that one day we can see a world without lung disease. Um, and a lot of that uh, stays in St. Louis. We have um, research that's being done right here in our city. We have programs um, that helps expectant mothers quit smoking, that helps children with asthma and their family know how to uh, keep them safe within their environment. Um, and different programs like that that is affected right here in St. Louis. So the donations that you give are going right here locally, benefiting people, ba patients, and, and, and local uh, institutions. Mm -hmm. uh, what, so what other institutions do the donations go for? So maybe uh, research like a WashU type deal? Yeah, we have a um, Airways Clinical Research Center right here in St. Louis at Washington University. Um, we're doing different studies um, through through the center, um, one with millennials and um, studying lung health and what what affects our, our lung health. So yeah, so this all goes towards your mission. Yes. Uh, uh, what, what is the mission overall? Um, it's to um, clean air and healthy lungs. Healthy yeah. lungs, mm -hmm. clean air. And is lung cancer doesn't get a lot of uh, uh, recognition Maybe not the right word, but recognition mm -hmm. for the, the kind of the, the um, high uh, rate of cancers, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, uh, lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in both men and women. Um, and I think a lot of people might not be aware of that um, or maybe not even that they can get it even if they're not a smoker. Um, yeah, it affects a large number of people. How do people get if they're not a smoker, though? I, I, we, I was under the impression it was more of a... Uh, there, smoking disease. There are so many different factors that go into it. Um, air quality, uh, different things in your environment. That's part of the reason why we're doing so many of the studies is because there are things that we don't even know um, and that we need to find out more information about. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Um, good luck with the event. Uh, American Lung Association in Missouri's Fight for Air Climb event. It's fighting for healthier lungs and healthier air. Again, it takes place April 4th from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can run up as many times as you want, apparently, at the Metropolitan Square building located at 1 Metropolitan Square. For more information, you can call them at 314-329-5155 or visit fightforairclimb.org slash St. Louis. Stick around. There's more STL Live after this.